So Kevin, I want to talk to you a bit about your experience as an undergraduate, and in particular, I'm interested in what it, what role independent research played in your undergraduate years, and whether or not it had any impact on your career goals, and and um, also how it how it changed your undergraduate experience. Nothabrink is first rye is an annual killifish okay. from the south end of Africa, and they have a very short uh, generation time. I think in lab, our fastest recorded from being laid to hatching was two weeks, and from that hatching to producing more offspring of their own was again a two week time frame. So that experiment that I worked on when I first entered was looking at the rate of egg producing um, as a function of the fish's life history. Uh, we wanted to characterize if they could produce more eggs and what those eggs trajectory would be when the fish was young versus uh, an older fish. So these fish live in ephemeral pools that completely dry out each season so they uh, have to race against the clock um, in a very limited uh, rainy season when the pools okay. are still there. I was interested in, these, in that fish for the same reasons, the very quick generational times and assessing how the eggs were timed correctly for the subsequent rainy seasons. So the uh, infrastructure was already there. We already had populations. There were tanks that were readily available because that experiment wound down and it was a very natural segue into what I was interested in, which was exploring how the eggs um, were timed. And there were two main ideas about how this was to happen. One was bed hedging, in which there's an intrinsically timed um, kind of device in these eggs. Uh, and the other would be phenotypic plasticity, where the eggs are able to tailor their development to the environmental conditions. So we discovered that both phenotypic plasticity and bed hedging are indeed occurring simultaneously. And the way we reconciled this, because the environments that would produce these um, evolutionary adaptations are opposite is because these eggs come from a region uh, that falls somewhere in between these two extremes that the environment which they live is neither unpredict perfectly unpredictable or perfectly predictable mm -hmm. so it would make sense for these fish to espouse a strategy that would include both of these extremes. So you came here, you took a lot of classes and you did research on the side. Can you imagine what the research added that you couldn't have gotten just from your classroom work? It uh, augmented and supplemented my lectures and gave me a little bit more experience. I was invited to present a poster at the National Conference for Undergraduate Research, okay. um, and I did that. And I was also invited to present uh, and give an oral presentation at the UCR Undergraduate Research Symposium. I felt that that helped me as a student tremendously.